Hello everyone, this is your teacher Hazel and this is the Leia Review Series. I thought of preparing a review series for those who wish to review for the licensure examination for agriculturists or what we call Leia but do not have sufficient financial resources to enroll in a review center. Although this will not be as complete as the ones given in the review center but I hope it will help you at least in your preparation for your agriculturist licensure exam. And there will be five questions for every video in the series and the answers will also be given accompanied by a short explanation. Have fun learning! For this video, since my major is animal science, I will start from the subject area and I will be particularly focusing on genetics and livestock improvement. So let's start our review. Question number one is, all of the choices describe animal breeding except one. Which one is it? Letter A, it is the application of animal genetics principles. B, its goal is to genetically improve farm livestock. C, it aims to improve the quantity, efficiency, quality, and aesthetic value of farm animals and their products. D, all of the choices. And letter E, none of the choices i repeat the question all of the choices describe animal breeding except one which one is it a it is the application of animal genetics principles b its goal is to genetically improve farm livestock c it aims to improve the quantity efficiency quality and aesthetic value of farm animals and their products d all of the choices and letter e none of the choices the correct answer is E. None of the choices. Recall from your lecture in your animal breeding that animal breeding is the application of the principles of genetics or the study of variation. And the role of genetics is particularly important in achieving the goal of animal breeding which is to genetically improve farm livestock. The role of genetics is important because the traits for improvement should be heritable. If not heritable, then there would be no genetic improvement that would happen. When we are talking of animal breeding, we do not solely refer to reproduction or the reproduction of animals. When we say livestock improvement, we want to improve animals and their products in terms of quantity, efficiency, quality, and aesthetic value. And so, all of these choices A, B, C, and automatically D, all describe animal breeding. That's why the answer for number one is letter E, none of the choices. Okay? Question number two. Genetics deals with the study of heredity and variation. The unit or factor which is of prime importance to studying heredity is the gene. Which of the following is not true about the gene? Letter A. It is the basic unit of heredity. B. Genes are passed on from one generation to another. C. A gene is a segment of DNA. D. Both A and C. And letter E. None of the choices. I repeat the question. Genetics deals with the study of heredity and variation. The unit or factor which is of prime importance to studying heredity is the gene. Which of the following is not true about the gene? A. It is the basic unit of heredity. B. Genes are passed on from one generation to the next. C. A gene is a segment of DNA. D. Both A and C. And letter E. None of the choices. And the correct answer is, again, none of the choices we know from our basic knowledge in biology that gene is the basic unit of heredity or inheritance and that these genes are the ones being passed on from one generation to the next or from parent to offspring structurally also a gene is a segment of dna so all choices a b c and d are correct all describe the gene but letter e none of the choices is the correct answer so again a gene consists so as a review a gene consists of small sections of dna that carry genetic information and instructions for making proteins which help build and maintain the body 
recall that in your cell, you have there the nucleus, this one. And in the nucleus, you have there the chromosome, which are thread-like structures made up of DNA, this one. Tightly coiled. So as you can see, DNA or the deoxyribonucleic acid are tightly coiled tightly coiled, sorry, many times around proteins, which we call histones, right? Now, there are small sections in the DNA, small segments, okay, of nucleotides here that consist a gene. So, we have here many genes in this DNA, okay? So, this, uh, there are segments here of the DNA that constitute a gene or genes, okay? I hope that's clear for the gene, for the cell, for the chromosome, and for the DNA. Okay, moving on to question 3. We have here, in 1909, this Danish botanist coined the term gene to refer to the particulate factor which was hypothesized by Mendel as the basic unit of heredity. Letter A, William Bateson. Letter B, Wilhelm Ludwig Johansen. Letter C, Francis Crick. Letter D, James Watson Or letter E, Gregor Mendel I repeat the question In 1909, this Danish botanist coined the term gene To refer to the particulate factor Which was hypothesized by Mendel as the basic unit of heredity A. William Bateson B. Wilhelm Johansen C. Francis Crick D. James Watson Or letter E, Gregor Mendel And the correct answer is Wilhelm Johansen. Wilhelm Johansen was a Danish botanist and geneticist and he introduced the following concepts. Okay. In 1909, he coined the term gene from the Greek word genos meaning birth to describe the Mendelian units of heredity which Gregor Mendel called, is, called this as factors or elementary factors. Okay? So, apart from the gene, he also described the genotype and the phenotype. So, that is Wilhelm Ludwig Johansen. William Bateson was an English biologist who provided the classical definition of genetics and he coined the terms homozygote, heterozygote, and allelomorph or simply the alleles. And then Francis Crick and James Watson were known for the double helix model of the DNA. And Gregor Mendel is, as we all know, the father of genetics. Question number four. Who among the following scientists believed that superior parents were more likely to produce superior progeny than were inferior parents? Sorry, this should be than. Letter A. William Bateson, letter B, Gregor Mendel, letter C, Robert Bakewell, letter D, J. Lash, and letter E, none of the choices. I repeat the question, who among the following scientists believed that superior parents were more likely to produce superior progeny than were inferior parents? Letter A, William Bateson, letter B, Gregor Mendel, letter C, Robert Bakewell, letter D, J. Lash, letter E, None of the choices. And the correct answer is Robert Bakewell. So as mentioned earlier, William Bateson coined the term gene. Rigor Mendel is the father of genetics. J. Lash is the father of modern animal breeding. Okay, But he did not believe that this statement of Robert Bakewell applied to all instances. Okay, So this is not always true. Now, let's take a look at Robert Bakewell's accomplishments and contributions. So, look, Robert Bakewell was a British agriculturist and if Lash is the father of modern animal breeding, Bakewell is the father of classical animal breeding. And he believed that like begets like and he used this principle to implement systematic selective breeding of livestock, particularly sheep and cattle in England by methodical selection and inbreeding. He also introduced the idea of progeny testing, which is a method to evaluate the genotype of an animal on the basis of the average performance of its progenies. So that's for the accomplishments and contributions of Robert Bakewell. Now question number five. 
Which of the following is not a function of the basic unit of inheritance? Letter A. Store and transmit information from one cell to another and from parent to offspring. Letter B. Replicate itself with great consistency and precision. Letter C. Does not undergo mutation or error during replication. Letter D. Both A and B. And letter E. Both B and C. I repeat the question, which of the following is not a function of the basic unit of inheritance? Letter A, store and transmit information from one cell to another and from parent to offspring. Letter B, replicate with great consistency and precision. Letter C, does not undergo mutation or error during replication. Letter D, both A and B. And letter E, both B and C. And the correct answer is... Letter C, does not undergo mutation or error during replication. The question is tricky. It is asking for um, the wrong, or it is not asking for the function of the basic unit of inheritance or the gene. So, which is not a function? So, the answer is letter C. Remember that the gene is the basic unit of inheritance okay that's the basic unit of heredity and to perform and to, and to perform this role the gene must be able to store and transmit information from one cell to another from parent to offspring from one generation to the next the gene must also be able to replicate itself with great consistency and precision and there are errors or mistakes happening during the S phase of the cell cycle, but there are specific enzymes that repair or correct these errors, these replication errors. Hence, both A and B are functions of the gene. Letter C is not a function of the gene because the gene must be able to undergo mutation. So, it should be a function. Mutation should be a function of the gene. Because without mutation, there would be no variation among individuals of a population. Without variation, selection would not take place. And without selection, what happens, there would be no genetic improvement. Although there are other um, methods of achieving genetic improvement, selection is the main tool in improving the genetic composition of farm livestock. And take note, this genetic improvement is the goal of animal breeding. That's why mutation is important because mutation is the ultimate source of variation in individuals uh, within a population. Alright? So, again, let's go back to our... Uh, Fifth question, the correct answer is, does not undergo mutation or error during replication. So, this is not a function. All the choices A, B, and D are correct. These are the functions of the gene. Automatically, letter E is not the correct answer because B is a function. Letter B, replication is a function of the gene. All right. That would be all for my first lecture video for the layer review series. Abangan ng aking susunod na i-upload and if you wish to request for a specific topic, you may comment them down in the comment section. I am your teacher Hazel. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you learned something.